There are some companies out there pushing the boundaries of space exploration and changing the industry forever. SpaceX is one of them. And then there's Blue Origin, which seems to be struggling to keep up. Take their most anticipated rocket, New Glenn, for example. This rocket has been in development for what feels like an eternity, yet not a single test flight has happened. The funniest part? Every time they set a date to test it, something goes wrong, and they push it back yet again. It's happened so many times that people have lost faith in those dates entirely. And now, once more, they're claiming a test is just a couple of weeks away. In this video, we're going to dive into why that test might not happen this time either. Before we jump in, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and other groundbreaking achievements shaping the space industry. Blue Origin and SpaceX perfectly show that even with similar backgrounds and goals, two companies can experience vastly different levels of success. SpaceX and Blue Origin were both founded in the early 2000s by two well-known billionaires, Musk and Jeff Bezos. Both companies started with a similar vision of making space more accessible and affordable. Musk started SpaceX in 2002 with a mission to reduce space transportation costs and eventually colonize Mars. Similarly, Bezos founded Blue Origin in 2000, aiming to open up space travel. Despite starting with nearly identical goals and around the same time, these two companies have taken very different paths, and their levels of success reflect that difference. SpaceX, valued at around $210 billion as of mid-2024, has solidified itself as a major player in the commercial space industry. Meanwhile, Blue Origin has an estimated valuation of between $30 billion and $50 billion, much lower than SpaceX's, and it hasn't yet reached the same level of market impact or operational success. The differences become more apparent when comparing their flagship rockets, Blue Origin's New Glenn and SpaceX's Starship. New Glenn was first announced in 2016 as a heavy lift launch vehicle and was originally scheduled for launch several years ago. However, it has experienced multiple delays, and as of November 2024, it still hasn't completed a single flight. New Glenn is designed as a two-stage rocket with a diameter of 7 meters and a height of 95 meters. It features seven BE-4 engines on its first stage, generating a combined 3.8 million pounds of thrust. When fully operational, New Glenn is expected to deliver about 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit and 13 metric tons to geostationary transfer orbit. Blue Origin also plans to reuse New Glenn's first stage by landing it on a drone ship after launch. However, these plans are still untested, and the rocket hasn't yet demonstrated any of its intended capabilities in actual flight conditions. SpaceX's Starship, on the other hand, has made consistent progress since its announcement. SpaceX has conducted multiple test flights with Starship, including orbital attempts and continues to make design and performance improvements based on these tests. Starship stands taller than New Glenn, at 120 meters, with a diameter of 9 meters. It consists of two main parts, the Starship spacecraft on top and the super-heavy booster below, powered by 33 Raptor engines. Together, these engines produce over 16 million pounds of thrust, significantly more than New Glenn's output. Starship's design allows it to carry between 100 to 150 metric tons to low Earth orbit when fully reusable, and up to 250 metric tons if it's used in an expendable mode. SpaceX has also developed an innovative approach to reusability with Starship, aiming to catch the booster using ground-based arms. When comparing overall achievements, SpaceX has completed more than 200 orbital missions, developed the Starlink satellite network for global internet coverage, and secured multiple contracts with NASA, including crewed missions to the International Space Station. Blue Origin, on the other hand, has primarily conducted suborbital flights with its new Shepard rocket and has not yet launched an orbital mission. However, it seems like they have recognized that they need to move faster in the competitive space industry. They are now pushing harder to prepare for the launch of its new Glenn rocket. In 2024, the company completed several critical steps, including assembling key components, stacking the rocket on the launch pad, 
testing parts like thrusters, forward fins, and landing legs, refining the systems for the second stage, thoroughly inspecting the launch pad, and deploying a recovery ship called Jacqueline to retrieve the booster after launch. A significant breakthrough came on October 24, 2024, when Blue Origin announced that it had successfully installed seven BE-4 engines on New Glenn's first stage. These engines are designed to produce a total of 3.8 million pounds of thrust, with each engine capable of about 246 tons. Additionally, three of these engines can gimbal, or pivot, which helps control the rocket during crucial phases like ascent, re-entry, and landing. This gimbal capability, along with landing gear and reaction control thrusters, is essential for reusability, allowing the booster to land on the Jacqueline drone ship after launch. With these components now in place, Blue Origin is entering the final stages of preparation. These steps include cryogenic tests to check that the booster can handle extremely low temperatures during fuel loading, static fire tests to confirm the engines work as expected, while the rocket is secured on the ground and wet dress rehearsals, which simulate full launch conditions without actually taking off. Each test is essential to verify that New Glenn is ready for flight and can operate safely under real launch conditions. Blue Origin is aiming to launch New Glenn in late November 2024. However, with a tight schedule for these final tests, there is little room for unexpected issues. If any problems arise during testing, the launch could be delayed. Blue Origin originally aimed to launch its new Glenn rocket around the same time as SpaceX's Starship Flight 5. However, delays held new Glenn back, while SpaceX went ahead with its mission and achieved a major milestone. On October 13, 2024, SpaceX launched Starship Flight 5 from its Starbase facility in Texas. This mission was notable because SpaceX successfully caught the returning Super Heavy booster mid-air, using the launch tower's mechanical chopstick arms, a significant step in reusable rocket technology. This marked the first time SpaceX managed to catch a booster this way. After the booster separated, the Starship upper stage continued its flight, reaching a suborbital trajectory. It then re-entered the atmosphere in a controlled descent and performed a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. For the upcoming Flight 6, SpaceX plans to take this reusability effort further by attempting to catch the upper stage, or Starship, using the same chopstick arms that caught the Super Heavy booster. This would allow both stages to be reused, reducing launch costs and shortening turnaround time between flights. SpaceX has already begun preparations for Flight 6, including static fire tests of the Super Heavy booster, which indicate that the mission is progressing as planned. While SpaceX has been making steady advances, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket is still preparing for its first test flight. Blue Origin has made significant progress in assembling and testing new Glenn, including installing the BE-4 engines, but the rocket has not yet launched. As of November 2024, there is still no specific date for New Glenn's first flight. This difference in progress shows the unique challenges each company faces in developing new rocket systems. Although both SpaceX and Blue Origin aim to make space more accessible and affordable, SpaceX has moved forward more quickly, achieving notable milestones and moving closer to fully reusable spaceflight. That wraps up today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.